Hey everybody, Rich Baranowski coming at you once again. So, uh, seems to be a little shooting going on in New Zealand. Yikes. Yeah, apparently some leftist asshole, um, trying to call out President Trump. Well, first of all, what the hell is going on through your goddamn mind? You live in fucking Australia, and yet you're shooting up a, a, a mosque in... Uh, or, I'm sorry, uh, New Zealand. You're shooting up a fucking mosque, screaming white supremacy, and some shit about Trump, the president of the U.S. What the fuck is the, like that? What what the hell do those two things even have to do with each other? What does the U.S. have to do with fucking New Zealand? That's just like the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Oh, shit. Like, where the, what the fuck is that shit all about? <sighs> so, yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. I'm actually recording this on the Tuesday after the massacre took place, by the way. So, I, 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 I know, I know I'm... <laughs> So if this, so when this comes out on Saturday, if it seems like I'm like kind of behind on it, you know, and you can totally tell this is a fucking leftist wing nut. Shit, you don't freaking, no, you don't shoot up. Like, what the hell is he talking about? Foreign invaders. It's like who invaded who? You know, and, and then, like, now all these freaking, I don't know, like, how do you spin a freaking massacre in New Zealand on the president of the United States? Those are two separate fucking countries. Like, yeah, apparently he released some kind of manifesto and even live streamed it on the internet for, like, all of Facebook to see or whatever. You know, and, like, apparently this is another one that just kind of fell out of thin air. Because, like, he wasn't on any kind of terrorist watch lists or anything like that. He wasn't... You now, like, this is just one that just kind of came out of fucking nowhere. I don't know. Where the hell... I don't know. Like, do people even think anymore these days? I guess thinking's just kind of overrated. So it's common sense. And then Ocasio-Cortez is trying to, like... And then people are like... I don't know. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, Linda Sarsour had to open her big fucking mouth. She's talking about... Oh, it's because uh, people... She's like, oh, I'm triggered because people who piled on to Ilhan Omar's anti-Semitism are now um, defending Chelsea Clinton. And it's like, idiot. One has nothing to do with the... Uh, I don't know what the... Like, what comments... Like, what comments did Chelsea Clinton even make? I don't even know what the hell she even said that is apparently Islamophobic or whatever. It's like, people... <sighs> you know, some, some idiot says it's because of Chelsea Clinton uh, that the massacre happened, so now everyone's piling on to Chelsea Clinton. It's like, you know, when fucking Republicans are defending Chelsea Clinton, you know the fucking Democratic Party is going to shit. The whole, like, the whole left side of the aisle. They're just fucking nuts now. Okay, now they got the fucking Republicans defending the Democrats. When the hell did that happen? Shit. You know, I, fi I figured as much. You know, another freaking massacre happens. Now the media has to put on a little shit show for us. As now they're gonna say they have the moral high ground because they don't like Muslims getting shot, but they love it when Jews get shot in Israel. You know, like, if, if, if that had been, like, a... Like, I've been saying this right from... Right when the news broke. I said, you know, if this had been a Jewish temple in Israel, okay, the media would have never reported on it, okay? They wouldn't have given two fucks. We wouldn't have even known it even occurred right now. But because it was a white man, okay, shooting Muslims, now it's a fucking national disaster. 
Yeah, it's like the fucking, yeah, it's just, yep, this is a bigger catastrophe than 9-11. Oh my god. And you can't even blame it on the guns, either. Yeah, like, no, notice that, notice how, be, notice how twisted that, that got real quick. The Democrats couldn't blame it on the fucking guns, because New Zealand's gun laws are a hell of a lot stricter than that of the U.S. So, like, yeah, can't blame the guns, so now they're blaming it on white people. White people, we're the problem, we're the plague to society, right? You know what? These people can kiss my ass. I don't even care. They want to fuck. Yeah, now they blame it on the person. And the other goddamn time, when it's white people getting shot up, it's because guns are the problem. Yeah. Hey, cool. Is that a military jet? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Damn. Sorry. Had an ADD moment. <laughs> yeah, there's a plane overhead. It looked like a military. Anyway. Do I feel bad for those Muslims? Eh, it's something I'm kind of going back and forth on. I'm not even going to lie, like... You know, like, as, as... Like, all the acts of evil that have been perpetrated in the name of Islam... It's like, can I really feel sorry for these people? I really don't know that I can. You know, all the frickin' terrorism going on in the world, you know. It's like, am I really gonna just forget all that happened? Christian faith is telling me I should for I should I should feel sorry for them, but as does my inner Republican, but I don't know if Richard wants to. I don't know if Richard forgives them. You know, feels uh, pities them at all. You know, it's like, it's like they're the ones who are on the receiving end of it on the receiving end of a mass shooting or a bombing or something, and it's like... You know, it's like my head knows I should feel sorry for them. My heart's just... My heart's just not cooperating. They took, you know, apparently the uh, Muslim community down in New Zealand, they say they're a very tight-knit group and, you know, they all know each other and they all, all that. So it's like, yeah, it's not just something like 49 families that were affected. It's like, no, that, that affected, like, the entire community. I don't know. Because, like, everybody knew them, you know? It's like, and, and, and I totally, I totally get that, you know? You know, when I, when I was living in my old neighborhood, shit, I knew everybody on the block. Or at the very least, on the street. Maybe not everyone on the block, but, yeah. When it came to people that, like, I went to school with, I knew exactly where they lived. It's like, hey, that's uh, so-and-so's house, and that... I was in three blocks down at so-and-so's house, or whatever, you know? That's the thing, it's like, I want to feel sorry for them, but... At the same time, how many frickin' acts of terrorism have been committed in the name of Islam, and then the Muslims just stay silent about it? They never denounce that. Oh. But now that it's happening to them, now they denounce, uh, violence. Like I said, it's like God wants me to feel so, to pity them. My political party wants me to uh, pity them, but 
My heart just doesn't feel it. Anyway. I need to go in, I need to go in. I'm just pulled into work, so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, maybe I'll do a part two to this. I don't know. Uh, take care, guys. Hey everyone, this is Richard Baranowski. I hope you all enjoyed the video you just saw, and if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give this video a like and a share, and also please support me on Patreon. I hope to see you all in my next video. Take care.